Welcome to Real Physics. This is a channel about fundamental physics and natural philosophy, the big questions if you want. When I wake up in the morning, I think about the beginning of the universe. There was just hydrogen and then galaxies and stars formed and uh, a tiny remnant of a supernova explosion became our planet. After billions of years, eventually life evolved. This is a fantastic story and as scientists, as a physicist, uh, you want to understand this. I think it's your job to understand. So, my approach is pretty much historical. I love books and I love old books. And uh, if you read, say, a biography of Paul Dirac or if you look at the thoughts of Einstein about fundamental physics or just read what Heisenberg or Schrodinger thought about you realize two things. Uh, first, there are lots of unsolved problems and questions such as uh, why we do ha we have the constants of nature and why do they have the values we measure. And second, uh, contemporary physics is really a mess. Be it uh, superstrings, uh, supersymmetry or the highly complicated models of cosmology and particle physics I mean, Dirac, Schrodinger, or Einstein, they, they just would have laughed at this stuff. And, um, well, if you want to do fundamental physics, which is what I try to do, you have to kind of sort out the trash first. And, and that's why I uh, wrote a couple of books. Uh, a book, uh, Bankrupting Physics, at Macmillan about the problems of, of cosmology, which is a translation of the German of a German book which got a prize of the physics book of the, the year. And uh, this is another book about the problems of cosmology and this is about uh, the state of particle physics. But I also wanted to uh, think about the real problems of fundamental physics and then you go back and you see a lot of, of old thinkers and interesting ideas such as Ernst Mach and, and Einstein and Schrödinger and also uh, Robert Dickey. And uh, well, then I have another book. There are also German versions about Einstein's Lost Key, which is about uh, variable speed of light, which uh, links a lot of historically very interesting ideas. And uh, I'm also thinking about where the constants of nature come from and this goes to the very basics of space and time you might to ponder if these are the right concepts well i hope you got a brief impression about the general purpose of this channel and if you're interested in fundamental physics don't forget to subscribe